good morning. I had a wonderful night's sleep last night. I was a bit worried that I'd be cold, but uh, I really wasn't like the, the new thermal underwear that I have. My underwear, I don't mean pants, although that would also be nice. The top that I bought uh, the other day in Würzburg has done absolute wonders. Um, so I've been sleeping nice and warm at night. And um, yeah, last night was no exception. So I'm super happy that I stayed warm and dry. Uh, I woke up at about 5.50 in the morning and desperately needed to go for a wee, which is always the, <laughs> the shit time in a tent when you have to wake up and go for a wee. Um, but I forced myself out of bed, or rather, my bladder forced me out of bed. And um, yeah, then once I went, I just thought, oh, screw it, I'll just stay up. No point in going back to bed. So um, yeah, I stayed up and got some beautiful sunrise footage and uh, some drone footage as well. Lit a fire, because it was quite cold this morning. I'm still sat around by the fire now. And I'm enjoying a cup of coffee. so welcoming and hospitable and I've had a good few chats with him he's a really really friendly guy and it's a tough life being a farmer you know he, he works until 10 10 30 every evening wakes up at 5 30 and does the same thing and he's a young guy you know. such an alternative life choice to working in the city doing and it seems like such a meaningless job in comparison to generating food a totally undervalued profession and yeah, I highly respect that. On a side note, I realize I use the word lovely a lot, perhaps too much. And I don't think you realize it until you actually record yourself and you start to reflect a bit more on what you're saying. You're like, mm, that's definitely being overused, isn't it? I'll look up some synonyms later on, I promise. So what am I doing now? I'm going to enjoy the fire, enjoy the rest of my coffee here, have some breakfast and then I will slowly pack up, get everything on the bike. And what's the plan for today? I'm gonna head further south, further into the Alps, and then I'm gonna head eastwards along the Austrian border, and hopefully make it all the way to Garmisch-Partenkirchen, but that should be possible. Um, and then there's not a private little camping spot there, but I have found some decent campsites with some lovely views of the mountains, including the Zugspitze, which is the largest mountain in Germany. So yeah, I'm quite excited for that, especially to get into the more mountainous terrain. So today is the day for the mountainous curviness um, of this trip. Super excited for the next chapter. I will catch you guys in a little bit.
right guys we are off on the road again sorry that was probably terrible but if it was terrible it was just down to the microphone my voice was absolutely angelic I have uh, lost the dead cat from the uh, tip of the microphone which reduces some of the wind noise so this might be quite windy but uh, hopefully not otherwise I can just travel at 30 kilometers an hour for the rest of the thousand kilometer journey such a nice day I was just speaking to the farmer again at the end just yeah, really nice guy thoroughly recommend going to stay there it's in a little town called Jenen near Bad Verlesworfen in Bavaria and uh, you can find this spot on six or seven different websites he was telling me but uh, the one I found it on was Road Surfer no toilets, no shower, no warm water none of those sort of sorts of luxuries but my god what a setting past a cafe and there were more tractors in the parking lot than there were regular cars. <laughs> I guess that tells you something. getting further and further south and you can really feel that you're entering a little alpine village now you really see a difference oh it's just so pretty feels good to be back south that was really good so i'm just going to stop off at the Wieskirche now the Wieskirche is an UNESCO world heritage site Sounds pretty sweet.
everything is just so pretty it's, it's impossible to to take it all in road I've ever driven on. I had no doubt about it. Holy shit. Wow. Incredible. Shows. After riding what I can only describe as the best road that I have ever been on, lie an absolute country mile. <laughs> it's just incredible. Um, after riding on that, I've just arrived at a lake uh, called the Planze. I'm so happy I took this detour because this lake is just unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm, I'm, I know I'm using so many hyperboles and superlatives today, but it's just one of those days. Everything is just so pretty here. Check this out. just experienced is exactly why I love motorbiking and why I also love going on little tours with all my camping gear and which can be stressful at times and a bit hectic and just more things to worry about than when you just go on holiday and stay in a nice hotel with a small bag but um, getting to places like this being able to just hop on my bike also going alone allows me to just stop wherever I want to 
take a bit more time if I want to film something. Um, it's just yeah, it's such an amazing feeling. It's such an adrenaline rush when you're on the bike as well, because you, you really feel the corners in a way you just don't in a car. Of course you don't. You just you feel the G is pushing you outwards, but you feel no lean. And um, yeah, it's it's such an incredible feeling, and it's just um, dream. Oh, this is just electrifying riding. places as beautiful as this and for me to just have absolutely no idea that this existed in a neighboring country just around the corner is just something special and it's also just a reminder for all of these great distances we always travel to experience things and go on holiday and see something else there are some incredible things locally second every day Mm -hmm. oh, this road. oh just imagine living in a town like this with that kind of view every day I mean just There she is, Zugspitze, the highest mountain in Germany, I think it's around 3,000 meters. Someone like this just has everything to offer in all seasons, because there's so much to do, so many fun activities in summer as well as in winter. You know, in summer you can go mountain biking, you can go climbing, you can go paragliding, you can go hang gliding, you know, and obviously in the winter you've got skiing and snowboarding and sledging and tubing and oh, really does make you think about where you live, doesn't it? Times like this you do, you ask yourself, why am I living in a big city in northern Germany surrounded by flat countryside? There's pros and cons to every situation where you live, but I have to say, this place is particularly beautiful. So, where am I camping tonight? Well, I am camping, as you can see, at the foothills of Zuspitze. Found a lovely little campsite uh, that's attached to a hotel, actually, and. Um, it gives access to all of the hotel facilities, so swimming pool, sauna, jacuzzi. Alright, we are arriving. Just let me go left, but I can't go left, so I'm going to keep going straight. Oh, oh, they have a bloody slide! I can't believe it, they have a slide. I may just be going on a slide this evening. There better not be any age restrictions. Mm -hmm. 